Hello and welcome to UK Versus. Today we're talking Tekken 8 Clash decks. These are the hot up and coming products and we've seen all the cards now and there is one that I have gravitated to as being an absolute monster. Primarily for its symbols but also what it does and that is the Dune Foundation Diverting Energy. Diverting Energy is a 2 cost 5 control 4 low block with commit. This attack gets minus 2 speed. You may flip this foundation it gets minus 4 speed instead. That is a consistent minus 4 speed for commit and flip. As we've seen other cards do the same kind of commit and flip for free speed and it has seen play. This is a very powerful foundation and it is very wanted on this 4 low block. However, characters like Genkai absolutely love that. But the key thing for me is on these symbols unflipping it is very easy. Order has an option, Good has a couple of options, and Water has a lot. But let's start off with Good and Order. On the Good symbol, we have a Flying Scissor Kick, a 5 cost, 3 control, 3 low for 5, we have a 2 low block, but the main thing we want to focus on here is the enhance. If this attack is not completely blocked, unflip a foundation. You are just telling your opponent, you best have a low block, or my minus 4 speed is coming back turn. And the chance that your opponent's going to do everything they can to make sure that's blocked, because minus 4 a turn is an absolute nightmare. On the same guys, you can play plus ultra smash, but you also get this on order, and it is a 5 diff, 3 control, 5 mid for 5, you get to unflip foundation. Not as conditional as flying scissor kick, but a still a solid condition that you need to be less built out than your opponent. And you just get to unflip, you just get to go, yeah, I don't need to hit you, I don't need to do anything. My minus 4 speed is back on the board. Let's go. Go! That is huge. That is so very powerful. On these symbols, I think the this is the kind of speed hate they've needed for a while. We haven't seen it for a couple of sets, and especially seeing as Good didn't get any support in Attack on Titan, and looks like it won't be getting any support moving forward from Attack on Titan. But seeing it get support like this through the Clash decks is very, very good. Then we have the Water symbol. The Water symbol has got the most options to unflip. Harpoon Vault lets you unflip as a first enhance, as long as you have more face downs than your rival snap out of it if you're playing a student card allows you to unflip as a first enhance fallen angels revenge just lets you again as a first enhance spend the momentum and unflip two foundations if you have multiples of these down you're ready to go falling heel strike not only unflips it with no cost no first enhance but gains speed from that unflip but the most consistent one is uraka achako or yeah she just gets to unflip on the second attack as long as you've got two attacks in hand you are unflipping that is nuts the fact that you just get to unflip your board consistently the fact you just get to unflip everything and go yeah let's go i'm going to unflip diverting energy every single turn you are never touching me with an attack if i don't want you to because i'm going to run el chaco i'm going to run vault i'm going to run fallen angel i'm going to run snap out of it i'm going to run fallen kill strike because they all have the water symbol that means i can just run multiple diverting energies and I can just keep on flipping it whenever I feel like it. That is nuts. That is so cool. That is so powerful. And the fact you just get to deny your opponent's speed is very, very cool. And because it's a character ability, it's very hard to deal with. You can keep, you can try to flip it. You can try to destroy it. You can cancel enhances, but eventually this train's going to get going. And it's not like these are even bad attacks. A three diff, three mid for two is probably the worst here. Snap out of it is decent in itself self just letting you unflip whenever you feel like it falling heel strike just letting you unflip when your turn so if you've got mobile down you're fine and falling heel strike is a staple on those symbols anyway because you just get to unflip your cool stuff and it's a high which your chaco absolutely loves yeah no this this is solid water has got a very solid option here i don't see why you wouldn't be running this and if you can also find some things like tasty riff or some of the twice stuff you can build it from discard you can mess about with your draws and discards you can can have a lot of fun on the water symbol here and the water symbol isn't something we've seen too much of but there are some very cool cards from godzilla from izuku midori on the move from water water is one of the symbols that hasn't received any support from attack on titan but has seen a lot of strength throughout the cards that have come through girl power godzilla it's very very cool and i think this is such a neat little combo and i'm really excited to see someone take and completely destroy someone with it because this will be legal for the uk regionals and i think someone's 
going to show up with a water deck and it's going to just completely shut down someone's play. Thanks for watching. What do you think? Are there any other cards from Tekken you would like me to cover? Are there any other card combinations you know that I should cover? I think this is a very, very cool one. I am going to touch on a couple of cards as well, but this is an absolutely solid card, absolutely solid synergy. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Will you be picking up a Tekken deck? They drop October 24th, so head to your local game store and pick up a deck. I'll catch you on the next one.